Okay, I've got uh, a lot of Transformers here that uh, they're, they're, they're not welded. They kind of go a C and then a C the other way, and it just goes like this. So they're kind of interlocked, so you can't get them out. So what I like to do is get an axe, find out where the seam is, right there, see that? See how they're, it's got actually eyes, so it might, it might have, well no, it won't. Another one. I'm gonna find out roughly the middle. Okay. So you're going along along the seam. See how it's cracked there? See that? So you're going right along that. You can use a fairly heavy hammer. It's a smaller one. Okay. So let's get on top of here. Cut them directly in half. I'm gonna hammer on something, maybe. Yeah, guys. I mean, ideally, if you put it on a wood, like I have it on concrete, it's a little bit harder on the axe. But, uh, at least. See that? How it all comes out. Maybe just, just with a screwdriver and just prying it gently. No. There it is. No, just prying with a screwdriver is fine. I haven't done these for a while, so. That's kind of where it goes, right? Some, some will fall apart big time just because it's the way they're designed, the wine is designed. You gotta get maybe a little container or something. Find a little dish or something would be better. Let's see if I got something outside. I feel a flat dish would be better. Take this one, it's too greasy. Who is this? It just contain, I'm working on it, it contains the copper. So the copper's gonna be all over the table and everything. coming all out, see that? There, yeah. Get a screwdriver handy. Pull it out. Copper right there, see that? Clean copper. Some of the heavier gauges is a little better to deal with, right? Okay. See that? It's all heavy copper.
This one's kind of like trapped in between layers. Okay, we're just going to it after. Problem sometimes these uh these little um transformers are hard to strip. But you get the ones in the radios are a lot better. The stereos and stuff. And nice copper in them. Let's see if I can dig one out in a second. off some of this blue paper. Thick, thick copper. There it is. Let's wear glasses. Protect your eyes, especially sometimes with an axe. Head could chip the part of the, the head could chip on it. Okay. You know, if the axe gets dull, well, you just have to hammer it back and grind it a bit, whatever, sharpen it. I mean, I bought that one for like seven dollars. It was on sale. It was cheap. You can use an old, old one around your house or something. Yeah, with a l wider blade, and then you have a better chance of stripping, stripping the stuff better, right? If the blade's too small. It's gonna let you have to do two, two passes, right? If you know what I mean. So your gloves on, it makes it a little bit harder, but. Uh, You gotta be careful some of these transformers with the paper ones it could be uh PCBs in in the paper. Could just be you know you never know. That's why I wear wear gloves all the time. It's done. Hmm. Little few little transformers, look at this. It's pretty heavy too. Through these ones a little bit more after if you want. Even these little small ones produce. See that?
So lots of copper. It's pretty decent. I'm going to strip pretty good. Missing how much is on these little transformers. Okay. This is like a big ball. It all looks the same. See that? So anyway, see all that copper? Just a couple of transformers. Probably have to get these. At least the green plastic out there. Anyways. Let me uh, dig out some other transformers. This ball here. Used to have a pound, I would say for sure. Okay. Okay, got to four transformers. These are uh, stereos. One could be mm, a ballast, maybe, for maybe HID light or something, but I, I don't see no seam here, so these are all going to be seamless. This one actually might be a bit of a problem because it's got the. Uh, Got the plate on the bottom. We'll see what the axe does. I don't want to wreck the axe on, on that metal, but ones that have no metal, this has got the metal outside still. Thought I had them all. Got one more. This has got a metal. It's right on the outside. Okay. Little piece of the copper banding. Okay, there's another one here. Okay, we'll start uh, with the bigger ones. We'll start with this one here. It's like almost like two transformers in one. You want to go. So once you start it, then you'll know which. That's a hard one. Hmm. Something flew off, it must have been plastic. Pretty wide one, that one. It's another one here. There it is. He's wrecked my garage a bit but anyways might be a little bit harder this one okay um this one actually it's it's kind of got a welded seam here, so 
that one is kind of, I can hit with a hammer, so this one, I try another one now here. I got two here that I split. Let's see if I can try this one here. This one's a really big one. Yeah, it's, it's got the metal there, which kind of worries me, but I'll try. I'll try anyways, see what happens. Worst case scenario, I could buy another axe, maybe. Okay, so far it's holding up. But you know, if I'm doing big ones, you don't have to do big ones. Do the smaller ones, you'll have no problem. I think this hammer was falling apart actually. It's disintegrated the hammer. So I can see a piece of uh, metal missing. Okay. Bracket is gonna it's holding it back. It's in there pretty good. Yeah, the bracket is gonna be a problem. It's the welding, I could break the welding off maybe. Yeah, this one's not gonna work. See the bracket's holding, it's welded there, so it's not splitting. It splits halfway, but it won't split the whole way, so. If you got the point, let me just uh, get these ones ready now. It's probably a little bit harder, these ones here. better You know, the axe, it's just if you have a your um your vice ready, it's so much easier. Here's what we through here. Okay, nice clean right there. Clean copper. Take a little bit of tape off. So if you do like ones that are not too big, like you know, just you know, like the ones like this one, this should have no problem. It's just maybe I need a bigger axe and a bigger hammer, you know. Where the hell did my point go? Here it is.
this is a thick, thick wire. You can feel it. These are all stereos, by the way. Mini systems. Okay, that's more. So that's why I stripped those stereos because they got good transformers. Nice thick copper. Little mini systems. When they're really heavy, you know they're good. The copper, aluminum, all sorts of stuff in there. So those two transformers, it's all this copper. Last two transformers. I'm just trying to clean this blue tape off here. It's being cold right now, summertime, it'd be a little warmer weather. The tape will probably come off a lot nicer. Right now it's so brittle. Um, stickiness is gone, right? And no heat in this garage. There it is, seen it. 
Just don't take two big transformers. Just get the ones that are. As long as they're not reinforced. Get the other one with the plate on the bottom. Mm, got a lot of weight there, actually. A couple pounds, maybe. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. I'll ring the bell. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.